Okay, uh, let's start doing uh, homework for section 3.3. So what do we have? Let me start uh, reset and we start this way. Okay, uh, suppose you take a standardized test and you are in the 12th percentile. What does this percentile mean? Okay, every time when we say in the 12th percentile, that means within 12th percentile, right? So the answer is going to be, uh, let me see, you scored... Um, higher 12% uh, of your score where uh, your score or uh, lower here it is within 12 percentile which means maximum 12 or less okay so um, can you say you failed the test if you you scored within 12 percentile obviously so it's practically, it depends on how the rest of the class scored. If the scores were really high, it's possible that uh, you got a passed score. Okay, passing score. Okay. Where was that? I lost it. Ah, here it is. If scores were really high, it is possible that I got passing score. All right. So let's submit. Bingo. We have it. Moving to uh, next question. So box plot, I highly recommend to watch the video of box plot first so you can understand. So let me explain how we're gonna read this box plot. Let me see, I'll uh, clean this. All right, so box plot, this is what we have. Those are outliers. This one is minimum. This one is maximum. Okay. This is Q1. This is Q3. And this is median Q2. Not mean, median. And interquartile I, uh, RQ is equal Q3 minus Q1. So the detail about all this, meaning of this, uh, you can find out when you watch my uh, lecture, okay? So let's uh, read here, minimum. Minimum here is uh, six, Q1 is seven, median is nine, And uh, Q3 is 10. And maximum is 20. Okay. Let's submit the question. Check. Bingo. We have all is good. All right. Next. Okay, here we are going to use uh, stat crunch. That's the easiest way. You know what? Since uh, it doesn't give us precise value, so we, we have to guess approximately, and I tried twice and I got wrong number. This is what I will do. I will find the calculator that will give me um, box plot data. So let me put box plot calculator mm. 
okay I will take this one and I will place underneath of video there we go minimum 45 first one is 105 I, f I think I was right huh it was primarily was 105 and we changed on 110 or not whatever we just put it like that and then uh, q3 let me see q3 first quartile 304 well go figure 304 huh 304 and then maximum How much man? 325. And interquartile 199. I think I had somewhere 199 for first attempt, I think, or second attempt. Okay, now we have it. Okay, let's submit. And still 105 is, uh, doesn't work. Let, I'm going to open which one, it, what it is. 106. Okay, this is absolutely crazy. So um, to get these precise numbers, all we have to do, uh, watch the lecture. You, you have to watch the lecture and see how you are going to uh, build box plot. It's not difficult at all. Uh, I'll give you a real quick idea. The numbers you have, data you have, first of all, you have to range in ascending order. Okay. Then you are going to find Q2 first, which is median. So, and then you are finding median again, that Q1 is going to be median to lower part and then median to upper part. Okay, so that will be manually to do it, to have it uh, all correct. Otherwise, you're gonna uh, struggle, even a calculator, uh, we couldn't get uh, the right answer or box plot itself. So I would highly recommend you to do uh, on your own. It is not difficult at all. And just watch the lecture. I will place the link under my video and you will be fine. See here, it's also, it didn't take right um, because Q1 is wrong, so obviously uh, IQR also will be wrong because Q1 is participating. Okay, next one. Here is this one. Let me see if I can copy this. I'm just going to try this one. Close it. If I can, uh, okay, uh, let me click redo. Doesn't have it. So select all, okay. And uh, here should be delete at the end. It doesn't allow, but that's okay. I select it all, and now I'm going to cut. Okay. There's no delete, so I'm just going cut. Okay, and I'll delete all this. Okay, no more cut, clean again, and we have, well, this is interesting.
Well, it should be easier for you. Uh, for me, it's uh, getting more difficult because it's, uh, uh, it's not perfect for iPad. So some things I am struggling with basic stuff for you. It would be easy highlight on the whole column and just click delete. Okay, I'm going to do it on my own. Click like that. But um, I guess um, um, I will show you rather how to do it by hand. Uh, maybe it will be easy. All I wanted to sort it out. Okay, I have to write down and then sort it out, uh, which is going to be, let me write down so I can then sort it out. So let me copy this. Okay copy let me see if i can paste it in this note let me go like this okay well it's a, it's a picture but i can rewrite and then arrange in ascending order well um i would do in excel because uh, ascending it's uh uh, placing a manual in ascending order, it's not going to be easy. But this is what I'm going to do. Watch me here. So I won't mix, uh, miss anything. 256. And then uh, I'm going to write down uh, 266. 284. 309. Next, coming 109. I'm going to... Uh, put in the positions 259 okay so it's going to be 259 uh, 219 and then 311 okay 160 140 so here will be 140 what else 305 for me it's in enormously difficult I'm doing by hand now you can uh, copy in the um, uh, stat crunch and sort it out all or you can copy in excel whoever is friendly with excel and sort out there so 305 was it yeah 305 okay uh, i'm i know myself i'll make a mess by the time i write down i definitely will miss something so i'm just explaining how you're gonna do and you can see this thing in uh the how to work on back spot in my lecture also so first of all once you uh, at the put in ascending order you need to find what is the value of q2 median okay so then you are breaking into uh, uh, the lower level and upper level then find median here for low level that will be your q1 and then find the uh, upper level q3 okay and accordingly, uh, first number in the left is going to be minimum, and uh, the last number in the right is going to be maximum. Okay, so you will be able to do it. I'm not going to uh, go over this because we already did it. You know how to do it. And you will choose the box plot accordingly. So... Let me uh, jump to answer. Okay. So you can see the answer. You can do it yourself. Try it and see. Okay. This one is going to be the answer keyword. Uh, which one is that? This. This is going to be the answer. And let me open here uh, all uh, answers. This one, this, 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 this. Minimum 140. So in the table, minimum is 140. Maximum uh, is uh, 320. So in the table, maximum is 320. Okay. 
What else? Given that first and uh, third quadrant uh, quartiles are 101 and 133, how much will be interquartile? Well, this is easy. We can answer. 133 minus 101. So it's going to be 2. Now, all right, let me uh, subtract. Um, 32, because 133 minus 101 is going to be 32. For uh, next question, lower fence. Uh, this is the formula we are going to use for upper owl. Here it is, I have it. Okay, let me see here. This is the formula that we are going to use for uh, up at the lower fence. We are going to use Q1 minus 1.5 times uh, interquartile. And for upper level, it's going to mean maximum Q3 plus 1.5 interquartile. Okay, so uh, low fence, it's going to be 101 minus 1.5 times 3.5. 32. Okay, let me plug it 1.5 and we are getting 48. So it's equal 101 minus 48. 11 minus 8 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. 53. And upper uh, fence, it's going to be equal 133. Uh, plus, see here is formula, plus it's going to be 48, right? 1.5 times 32. And this is going to be 8 plus 3, 11, 7, 881. Okay, let's uh, write down. Uh, the minimum is going to be 53. And maximum is going to be 181. Okay, let's check it. Okay, we got all correct. And now next question, uh, some by some reason answer popped up, but we can answer. If the minimum is 70 and maximum 185, are they uh, the uh, outlier in the data set? So minimum uh, 60, uh, minimum 70 and 185. Yes, it's possible outliers because the range is large. Okay, moving to um, question number six. Okay. The box plot below shows a pulse rate of the random sample of female subject before and after one minute of exercise. Okay, which pulse rate are more um, consistent overall? Looking at box plot, what can we say? Obviously, the one that is before, right? Because uh, look at the uh, after, it looks like more stretch if this is box plot here is come minimum here comes maximum it more stretched so um in this case the answer is going to be before exercise next one which pulse rate are more consistent uh in the middle 50 percent in the middle 50 percent okay um when we are looking, the most um, consistent is going to be before, because it's uh, less stretched, right? Okay, next, uh, in the, uh, the middle pulse rate is higher for um, which group? 
So pulse is higher on which one we are looking, 100 here, 140, but before exercise is uh, around 80 something, and after exercise it's gonna be 140 and higher, which means it's gonna be after exercise, the middle pulse rate. Okay, let's check. Correct, 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 okay. Moving to question number seven. Okay, the box plot below shows pulse rate for a random sample of male objects before and after one minute of exercise. Okay, which pulse rate are more consistent overall? overall? It's going to be uh, after exercise, obviously. All right, because uh, it's more consistent overall pulse rate so it's gonna be after exercise second one uh, which pulse rate are most uh, consistent in the middle uh, in the middle 50s okay consistent is the one that is before exercise right because it's not as spread it so it's going to be before exercise the middle pulse rate is higher for um okay pulse rate is higher for after uh, exercise Let's see, it's correct, correct. Okay. Did we finish? Uh, looks like we completed all, all questions. Okay. Okay then. See you in next video.